This will be a good one. Two one-loss teams getting together as they're underway on EA Sports. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the former Texas Christian University Horn Frog, Andy Dalton. Coming off of a loss their last time out, I think he's just seeking to make a bigger impact on the game. He threw a touchdown pass, didn't throw an interception. I think he just wants to jump those numbers up in terms of flinging it around and letting his receivers get into the end zone. Play action here with Dole. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Geno Atkins got home that time. Well, we knew coming in it was going to be a long afternoon that they weren't able to hold up against this pass rush, huh? What we didn't know was that protection was going to spring a leak on the first play from scrimmage. He got after him right out of the gate. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. And a very good offensive unit here. One of the reasons they're so good is running back Mark Ingram. Took a little while for him to find his footing when he got into the league, but the former Heisman Trophy winner has it now and has really upped his pass receiving potential. A nice player. Third and long. What will Dalton dial up? That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. On fourth down, out is the punter Cameron Johnston to boot it away. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. Give him 11 yards that time on the return, and the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. A good starting spot for the Saints as they come up first and ten. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power... You've got to find a way to hold them under 20, because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. Not think so, because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. Holding offense. So a decent game, Still but all for not on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, Ready? the guys who just Ready? gave up that play. They'll come up now on a Let's second and long back. after the hold. <laughs> Working from the gun, it's Breeze. It's complete here to T.Y. Hilton. Give him six on the play, and they'll be facing a third and 12. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, Got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the second day. Breeze now. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Here comes the Saints punter now. Back deep, a Louisiana native, Jarvis Landry. <laughs> He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. 
This is Ingram on first and 10. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second and nine, Dalton, rush coming, and he's taken down. Geno Atkins picks up his second sack of the afternoon. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. And this one complete to Seth Roberts. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 at a first down. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Here's Dalton. Completes it to Lee. The completion good for three and it's second down. Many teams, as soon as they spot man defense, if they haven't called a hitch, they'll get to it as fast as they can. They want to put the ball in the hands of one of their best playmakers and hope that he can break a tackle on the outside and go for big yardage. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. So third and two, this quite possibly four-down territory, though, if they're stopped. They'll try to run for the first with Ingram. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. A much different second drive here, Charles. They go three and out the first time. This time they've been able to sustain something downfield. And that's what often happens. You get the game started. You know, you have to get your footing underneath you. You have to get used to the flow of the game, the speed of the game. And sometimes that first drive is more of a probing drive. It appears they found something here in the second one. After the penalty, it's Ingram. And a pretty good run there as he gets seven down to the 33. A look there at Ingram's numbers from a week ago. 17 carries, 83 yards. And they love what they've got in him. He's the number four rusher in the league right now, so you know that you have to account for him on defense, which means you can play complimentary football as well. Throw the play action, get it out to the wide receivers, because they should have some open space, because the defense will key on them. Give them 14 on that one, and a first down. The Lions into the red zone for the first time. They have a first and 10 at the 18. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Yes, indeed. That play there, that reminds me of some of the guys that I played with that have that suddenness, able to get into the backfield almost about the time the ball snapped and make a play. How about that tackle for a loss? Yeah, absolutely. He did a lot of that last week when he was named the NFC Defensive Player of the Week. One of the guys on the team would say, yeah, we called him the disruptor. And that's carrying forward again. Makes sense, doesn't it? Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. They went with the dive look that time on defense, just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle, and the Lions are going to take a 3-0 lead. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes, you don't take the ball away, maybe that's the way they should look at it. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? 
I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here, first and 10 at their own 27. Shotgun now for Breeze. Ball to the middle here, it's Hilton. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there, perfectly executed crossing route. He's coming, he's coming. 53. Hey, easy. Throwing again on second down. Breeze. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I'd file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Third and long Ready. now after the sack of Breeze and the Saints up against it here. Showing it, showing it. From the gun, it's Breeze. And the throw there going to be incomplete. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities. But that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. Yeah, first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. And Detroit getting set to go now. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. First down throw coming for Dalton. Connects it to Roberts, right side. And a loose football. And this is picked up by the Saints. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. Well, he did what he's known for. He made the catch, then he turned into a runner, took the contact, and coughed it up. And all I remember as a player, when they catch the ball, when those acrobatic guys catch it, you have to make them pay sometimes. You have to put it on them, big tackle, knock the ball free, anything you can do to slow them down. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back and maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. The ball's out. McCaffrey lost it. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like It's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession as they go to work on a first and goal. Now Breeze. Escaping the pressure right. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked by Tracy Walker. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit, and receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from yeah, him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open. Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. An opening there on that first down run as he gets this forward for about eight or nine. That looks to be eight officially, so second and two. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. They run. It's Mark Ingram. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout as there's a Saints player down here on the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Ingram. 
10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. Dalton bootlegs out. Blitz coming and down he goes. Harrison Smith on the safety blitz able to get the sack. They were in the top five in sacks in the league coming into this one. That's their third one in this game. Obviously, pass rush has been a strength of this team all year long. And apparently, they're not satisfied with top five. They want to climb that ladder. Yeah, I think it goes back to their offseason. They decided to make it a priority, and it's working out. Third down, a shot here for Dalton. Now he's hit, and Dalton lost the football. On plays like this, where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because. This is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. A nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And out will come the offense as they take over. Drew Brees getting ready to go again on offense. He's got to dig deep here, doesn't he? Team's losing. He's not playing well either. And they always tell you, don't press. You'll make things a little bit worse. But in this particular situation, you try and heighten your play a little bit. So far, he's thrown one interception. He wants to balance that off with at least one touchdown pass in order to get his team back moving forward. The first down run, not going to get him a whole lot. Maybe a yard. Yeah, it looks like just one yard there. So that'll bring up second and nine. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. On second and nine, Breeze, the first catch of the game for George Kittle. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Check, yellow lady, yellow lady. Check, check, watch 54, watch 54. Check, 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 check. Watch the safety creep. Wait, 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 wait. They fake the give. Here's Breeze. And that will be incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Get ready, get ready, get ready. So here are the Lions to take over. Last week, they got the victory against the San Francisco 49ers. They've got the lead in this one as well right now. The drive starts here with a carry by Ingram. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Passing. It's Dalton. Throw left side is complete to Reed. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Third and two for Dalton. Jordan Reed has it. And oh, he coughed it up. The Saints say they have it, and they do. So the defense there, opportunistic. 
It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. Didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. A nice burst there as they'll get about seven that time on the first down run. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. On second down, McCaffrey. On the stop was Aaron Donald. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Breeze looking to throw on third and two. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Flying in to blow that play up, Alex Okafor. Now that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football. Led to a sack. That's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around. Which are trying to cover in the secondary. So they recovered the fumble, but ultimately could not take advantage of the short field. Definitely a lost opportunity right there. I mean, they were in prime position to put six on the board. Ended up settling for three. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. On first and ten, here's Andy Dalton. Finds Roberts left side. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position. Because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. And the head coach reaches for the red flag, tosses it down on the field. He wants a challenge here. Well, he challenged the play. It did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player. You threw it yourself, but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to the head coach. He has the final determination on whether to actually challenge the player or not. In this case, it didn't pay off for him. And that's got to be so heartbreaking. You throw that flag, you probably under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Geno Atkins in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. A tenth carry here for Mark Ingram. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. And that is incomplete. Well, partner, so much for the mismatch. How about the guy at the second level, that big linebacker, able to run with the receiver and make a play on the football? Yeah, he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Taking it about the 16. Nearly a huge return as it is. Still a very good one. 24 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Come on, Left side here taken in by Metcalf. 
And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. Penny, 95, 56. 54. Pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Jack. Switch, switch, switch. Now Breeze on third down. And the throw there going to be incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, w what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. And this ball is going to be down now right at the 10-yard line. Good spot. Well, someone's going to be happy with that effort. You know who else is going to be happy? His defense. Absolutely. <laughs> He's created a very long field for that offense to try to traverse. And he got some help from Mr. Football there, checking up nicely. Good English on that punt. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Dalton hovering near the goal line. Looking left side, that's caught by Landry. And he'll take this one up to about the six-yard line. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and that's going to make it second and 14. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Looking to throw again on second down. Dalton, and this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Out of the gun, it's Dalton. Out to the left here to Reed. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Here's Cameron Johnston now. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. It'll wind up being a net of 41. Nine-yard return, 50 on the punt. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. The Saints coming out now to take the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Here we go, here we go, here we go. On first down, Breeze. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. Ready. Line of scrimmage again to 37 as they line up second and 10. To throw is Breeze. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. It's always a goal, and it's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. 
Here comes the Saints punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. It's a 45-yard punt, but a decent return there of nine yards. And the Lions will take over. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and ten. We got four. We got four. First and ten for Dalton. His throw incomplete. He was trying to get it to Seth Roberts. And that'll bring up second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again. Dalton. Roberts with it over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Dalton now to pass. Throw left side complete. That's Ingram. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. This will be Dalton again. They'll go over the middle to Reed complete. Now the ball comes loose, and his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not even going to tip it. I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And we're under a minute to go here. What's been an even first half all tied up? Yeah, still time to make something happen, too. A couple completions, just bring them together to get in the field goal range. Let's see what happens. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. A little too aggressive defensively, and the flag comes out. And no one trying to cover is going to like a call going against them, but you have to like the effort there. Went for the interception, just unable to get it, and the flag did come out. Brees now on first down. Over the middle here, it's Hilton. Give him eight on the play, and it'll be a second down. Breeze, one of the best ever in these situations as he's trying to get his guys set. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you go lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Ready? You ready? Check my 54. Mike, 54. I'm going to come back to you. I'm going to 36, 36. 54 is Mike. 54 is Mike. Check, check. Watch the game. Hey, Delta. Coming to you. Coming to you. He's checking. He's checking. He's checking. Crash, crash. Slam, slam. Breeze now on first down. And that is intercepted. Or was it? Wait, they'll say no. No interception. He did not keep the feet in bounds, apparently. So that's just going to be an incompletion. Ready? Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Check, check. Breeze now. That's going to be caught. And he's brought down after a very nice game. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. They come out here in the eye. And they'll turn a power game to try to get in. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. And he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped, but... I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. 
Breeze gonna sneak it. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So we've reached halftime in a low-scoring affair, just a pair of field goals. 3-3 is our score. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you guys in a bit. But first, let's take a We now proceed to the start of the second half. Second half ready to roll. Two field goals, a combined output in half number one. Could be first touchdown wins. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Tough first half for him. Unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. From the gun on third down, Breeze. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked up by Leighton Vander Esch. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Check 26, check 26. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though it completed the pass. Good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Now Dalton with a first and 10. Completes it to Lee. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now Dalton. And that's incomplete. Marquise Lee, the intended target, and it's third and short. How about the defensive effort from both of these teams that we've seen in this game? Would you say it's like a high-stakes chess match right now? Uh, chess is one way to go. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like it. Okay, the only reason I say that, you feel like they're contemplating their moves before actually making one and none of them being done very confidently. Truth be told, I've never played chess and I know that I'm not smart enough to play chess. Guys like you with your IQ, you can pull that off. Might we see our first touchdown of the game? Here's first and goal. Another chance for Dalton. His pass caught at the four. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. One man in the backfield, that's Ingram on second and goal. They'll give it to him up the middle. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. The crowd here in the dome making things difficult. Third and goal. Dalton here from the gun. 
He's got his man. It's caught for a lion touchdown. Jordan Reed, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Lions have taken the lead. No surprise there. Third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. On the ground, McCaffrey. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Emmanuel Ogba there on the stop. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. From the gun, it's Breeze. Gets this to his running back, Tariq Let's Cohen. It's a gain of five on the play, and they're going to have a third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Shotgun now for Breeze. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. Tyus Bowser getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. And when you go five wide like they just did there, you can't really max protect, can you? No, you cannot. What you're hoping is that by going five wide, you're forcing the defense into coverage. And if you do that, you get a chance to find some people downfield. But if they audible themselves and go into a blitz, then it's got to happen right now. Or very lights quickly. out. <laughs> or exactly right. Turn them out. That play's over. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Andy Dalton now, perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. A throw on the quick slant, going to be complete. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. So Dalton now. And he's got the hook up to Landry. Fighting ahead at the 15. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. A big play there for Detroit. 44 yards. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. And it'll be Dalton again. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. Virgil Green, his first touchdown on the year. And the Lions are able to extend their lead. Well, this offense only mustered three points in the first half on that field goal. They picked up the pace now. Two third-quarter touchdowns. Hey, you remember that appearance we had last week in front of that crowd, and, and they asked yeah. about halftime adjustments and all that that was going on. And remember what I said. It's not always an adjustment at halftime. Sometimes just remembering the game plan the play and playing better. Review. Tuning it up. Dalton's pass complete to Virgil Green. Touchdown, Detroit. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. And the kick here is good with a penalty flag down as well. And they may have run into him after the kick went away. So five yards for running into. Lucky it wasn't 15 for Ruffin. No doubt about it because they protect the kickers and the guys holding the ball almost as much as they protect quarterbacks in the pocket. They don't want those types of injuries. And not a particularly good return here as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. 
in this position, trying to get back into the game. Teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover. They want to try and put points on the board. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding offense. Well, your QB's been sacked four times in the game already, and they're the holding goal. And you know darn well the offensive line coach is frustrated and upset that he's been hit that many times already. He doesn't really care that they hold now. Just don't let him get hit anymore. To throw, it's Breeze. And that'll be incomplete. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Now on second and 16, Breeze. Left side here, that's the tight end fan. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Casey Hayward makes the tackle. From the 27, Breeze, pressure from his right, and he goes down hard, flat on his back. Emmanuel Agba just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Third and long now after the sack of Breeze, and the Saints up against it here. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Well, we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Play action now, Dalton. And he's taken down here by the Saints. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. To try again after the sack, Dalton. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Third down, a shot here for Dalton. Throwing it a traffic there, and that's complete. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And this is picked up by the Saints. And he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. We're going to shut you down. They'll try to get the running game going with McCaffrey. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. Ready! Yellow lady, yellow lady! Back now here live in New Orleans. It's the Saints who hold the football, but they're trailing as we begin the fourth quarter of play. All day, all day, every day, any day. Switch it, switch it, switch it, come on, switch it. Undercrunch, undercrunch, undercrunch. He's crashing. He's checking. On second and nine. Breeze. This will be caught just inside the 10. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 16 yards, a first down. Defensively, you said coming in earlier in the broadcast, the magic number was 20 points for you. That's what you thought they would have to hold this offense to, or, or less than that. And wow, they've done that in a big way, haven't they? Not only have they done it, they put themselves in a great position to win this one because holding them down was paramount. If they could get it done, 
Well, guess what? We see the end result. Right now, they have their eye on victory. And leading here in the fourth. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout as there's a Saints player down here on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Now Breeze. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. And he is Abella. His third touchdown now on the year as his guys are back within a single score. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it's a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here we go with a player spotlight, and we shine that spotlight on Andy Dalton. He's been pretty good when he's had time. The issue is, as we see here, a lot of times he hasn't had the time. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Now, Charles, of course, you got to remember, last possession they fumbled, it led to a touchdown. One score game here, got to be careful. And this is where coaching and training really comes into play, doesn't it? What, is it? what does everyone say after an error? Next play, move on, next drive. That mantra has to come to the front. They've got to take care of business right here and act like the last series just didn't happen. False start, offense. And yeah, that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. This is Ingram. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. <laughs> to throw on third down. Dalton. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively. Brings up fourth down critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And this will be taken at the 13. And, oh, they had him bottled up, but here's a late flag, and a face mask is going to get a much better starting position. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. Watch the twist. Watch the twist. I'm just Throwing on first down is Breeze. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Play action. Breeze. Over the middle. That's hauled in by Isabella. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That's a real nice job right there. Working the middle of the field. Working against those safeties. And you know, partner, if you get your hips turned the wrong way, big plays can result. And a big play resulted right there. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. Watch the ship. Watch the ship. Hey, watch the ship. Watch the ship. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Freeze. 
Whenever I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big time spectacular plays that when they drop one, I have to remind myself, we ask a lot out of these guys. Block and catch the football, not easily done in today's NFL. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And that will cut this lead back down to four now. It's 17-13. So an interesting call there to take the three. I mean, I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied, but, you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the end. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there, hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. Play fake. Here's Dalton. Oh, fighting off the defender. Caught on the right side. Reed. And now look at this. Big game by the fumble. I don't know about you, but I could hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession. No turnover. I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop me? Rush coming, and he's taken down. Well-timed effort there by Derwin James, a sack from his safety position. Offensively, they're going to have to figure this out before next week. Seven sacks in one game. Yeah, and that's more than any quarterback should have to bear. And if this continues on, there will be another quarterback in the game because no one can stand up to this week after week. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. First down lines on a pickup of 13. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one, despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. Here's Dalton. Roberts has it. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Now Ingram, he's been busy today. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. A little surprise here on third and one. Dalton up play action. Looking for the end zone. And that'll be incomplete. Now they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty. And it's fourth down. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. And from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. Now the Saints offense, they get ready to go back to work here. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the ground. They'll take it. Just I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. They want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Breeze will try again on second down. That's Isabella open on the right side. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 15 yards on the play, first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. 
He's got the first down and more past midfield. And he takes it across the 50 to the 46-yard line. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it to combined 33 yards. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. On play action, it's Breeze. Over the middle here, it's Hilton. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. A tackle is almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. He was trying to find Noah Fant, the tight end, and it's third and five. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. Ready? One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. And the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Again, they'll throw with Breeze. And he's got his man, Hilton. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 26. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Breeze now on first down. And this is caught at the end. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Breeze to throw again. And this will be incomplete. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Now, Breeze again. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. T.Y. Hilton, his second touchdown on the season. As they can now even this game here in the fourth quarter with the extra point. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. That time, a nine-play drive. And it ends with a touchdown for New Orleans. Fitting for what's been a tight ball game. We're all even at 20 now as the kick's away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. From the 29, Dalton, and he's got his man on the crossing route. That's Landry. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. They'll run on first down. It's Ingram. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Ingram again, a first down carry. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Uh, 
And a 20th carry now for Ingram. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. So now Dalton. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Lee. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just a shade under a minute to go in the game. So a big one coming now for Aldrich Rosas. This to take the lead here in the final minute. Rosas' kick is good. But hang on, a flag is down. Now if it's on the defense, they might decline it and take the points. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. Saints, 20. After the field goal, here's Rosas to kick it away. This is taken at his four. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. So Breeze and the Saints down 23-20, a little over 50 seconds remaining. They've won three in a row, but they've got work to do if they want to get a fourth in a row as they come up on first down. To throw is Breeze. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. They got exactly what they wanted there, out route, catch, get out of bounds, stop the clock. And I have to criticize defense here because you know the situation. You want to keep them in bounds and have the clock run. So I'm sitting on the outside portion of the field and not letting them throw an out route. Throw anything inside and I'll make the tackle. An out route? Yeah, that's not the way you're supposed to play it. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Switch out, switch out. Switch, switch, switch. Breeze to throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A gain there of 21 yards. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, Ready. understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. He'll look to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Cohen. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. And so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down. A nice, safe throw and a good one. Gets this to his running back, Tariq Cohen. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 12 yards there and a first down. It appears they found something that's working, and they keep going back to it. I guess you can actually say he has the hot hands now, doesn't he? Yeah, well, it's one thing to hit your guy out of the backfield once, hit him a couple times. Yeah, you're right, maybe they're onto something. And I think a lot of that is simply if you get it to him in space, more times than not, He's going to get more yardage than you expect out of each play. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock Alvin away and bring up second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Hey, let go. 
54, right there, right there. 54, Mike. Push him back. Whoa, whoa. Check 37, check 37. No, no, no. Off, off, off. Kill, kill, kill. Check three, check three, check three. Back, back to throw, Breeze. And he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. How many people watching this one right here gave up? Because that score, they might want to try and rush back into this stadium. <laughs> yeah. What looks like is going to be the game-deciding score, although a little bit of time left, so you can't count your chickens before they're hatched. Well, they better come back in here and watch this one, because you and I, we're not going anywhere. We want to see this one play out. Looks good on the extra point, and it would appear, barring some late heroics, they're going to get out of here with a come-from-behind victory. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Fairly short kick, taking it to 14 here. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Critical condition here, obviously. Got to hope to get something quick right and then maybe take that shot deep. And once they do take the big shot, you've got to worry on defense. Of course, no one getting behind the defense and make it an easy throw. But nowadays, it's not just the ball being tipped in the air and people in the end zone in a cluster. It's that guy that's short in the end zone who comes up and ends up making the play because he goes unguarded. So there's a lot to think about if you're playing defense in this situation. We'll see if they can cover all their bases. Now, one final throw here is incomplete, and that is how this one will come to an end. Well, Charles, this one's going to be hard to digest. You take the lead into the fourth quarter, lose that lead. Maybe they felt like they let this one slip away a little bit. They will definitely feel like that because when you have a lead in the fourth quarter, all you talk about doing is finishing and closing a game out. But when you flip it over, how about...